so many animals to see From the land, the sky and the sea The zoo is the place to be I see flamingos Wow, they are so pink I see a tall giraffe Did you know that their tongues are black? I see a giant lion He has a great big mane And I see elephants They use their trunk to drink up water And I see a zebra His stripes are black and white And I see meerkats Look at them stand on their hind legs And I see a camel Look at the big old hump on his back And I see big tigers Their stripes are orange and black I'm going to the zoo Would you like to come too? So many animals to see From the land, the sky and the sea The zoo is the place to be I see an antelope With such pointy horns And I see some ducks swimming in the pond going quack, quack, quack. And I see lizards with beautiful skin and long, long tails. And I see snakes. Look at how they slither and hiss. And I see monkeys living in the trees swinging all around. I see hyenas They look like dogs but a bit stranger And I see a warthog A wild pig with big old tusks And I see a baboon A cool looking monkey with a big red behind I'm going to the zoo Would you like to come to? So many animals to see From the land, the sky and the sea The zoo is the place to be I see a chimpanzee Looks pretty similar to you and me And I see a gorilla The biggest primate in the whole world And I see a parrot Oh my goodness, such a colorful bird And I see a vulture Such big wings and a powerful beak And I see a tortoise Just like a turtle but a whole lot bigger And I see alligators With big round snouts and lots of scales And I see crocodiles Like alligators but with pointed snouts And I see more monkeys Having fun swinging branch to branch I'm going to the zoo Would you like to come to? So many animals to see From the land, the sky and the sea is the place to be I see an otter He kinda looks like a wet fluffy cat And I see a lemur With yellow eyes and a black and white tail And I see bats Hanging upside down using sonar to see And I see a rhino Look! Got a great big horn on his nose And I see a polar bear The only bear with bright white hair And I see some penguins Waddling around diving into the water And I see 
even more monkeys. So many kinds, I can't count them all. Jeez, there's so many animals. I really love the zoo. Woohoo! I'm going to the zoo. Would you like to come too? So many animals to see from the land, the sky, and the sea. The zoo is the place. It can float on water and fly in the sky. It's a sea plane, a sea plane. Out on the ocean in the clouds so high. It's a sea plane, a sea plane. It's a little airplane with propellers and wings. Float on the bottom so on water it doesn't sink. Whoa, seaplane flying all around. Seaplane landing on water and the ground. It flies to the places other planes can't reach. Like tiny little islands, way far out to sea. Whoa, sea plane flying all around. Sea plane landing on water and the ground. Take a sea plane when you're on vacation. A sea plane out on the ocean in the clouds so high. It's a sea plane, a sea plane. Oh, sea plane flying all around. Sea plane flying all around. Sea plane landing on water and the ground. Landing on water and the ground. It's a sea plane, a sea plane. There's colors all around. Anywhere you look, there's a color to be found. Every single thing has a color to be seen. Come learn some colors with me. In winter, the snow is white. In spring, the sky is blue. Leaves in the summer are green. Fall, they start to turn orange and yellow and red and wow there's so many colors in the trees wow i really enjoy seeing the colors change throughout the seasons maybe next time the season changes you'll see the colors change <laughs> everywhere you look there's colors all around Anywhere you look, there's a color to be found. Every single thing has a color to be seen. Come learn some colors with me. Bananas are yellow, and apples can be red or green. Blueberries are blue, oranges are Orange. <laughs> There's lots of different fruits with lots of different colors. Have a look. There's so many to see. I went to the grocery store the other day and saw so many different colors of fruit. Maybe next time you go to the grocery store, you'll see all the colors too. Everywhere you look, there's colors all around. Anywhere you look, there's a color to be found. Every single thing has a color to be seen. Come learn some colors with me. Ooh, the moon is white, just like the clouds in the sky. The sun is bright yellow, and sunflowers are too. 
different flowers with lots of different colors. Have a look, there's so many to see. Have you ever seen a garden that's full of flowers? It's so bright and colorful. And I just love the way they smell. Everywhere you look, there's colors all around. Anywhere you look, there's a color to be found. Every single thing has a color to be seen. Come learn some colors with me. Flamingos are pink, and robins have red bellies. Penguins are black and white, and so are bald eagles. Birds can be. Almost any color, have a look, there's so many to see. There's so many different kinds of birds in the world, and they're all different colors. So maybe next time you see a bird, you'll draw a picture of it and color it in. Well, everywhere you look, there's colors all around. Anywhere you look, there's a color to be found. Every single thing has a color to be seen. Come learn some colors with me. Come learn some colors with me. Come learn some colors with me. job on my Above the ground, a firefighting helicopter. 
helicopter on a mission to put those firecrackers out. Lots of water when it flies. Lakes and rivers are its water supply. It hovers above the burning flames and drops water from the sky. It's a firefighting helicopter fighting fires from above the ground. A firefighting helicopter. To put those fires out Transport machines Red and white For the firefighting team Flying day and night It's a transport machine It's red and white For the firefighting team Flying day and night It's a firefighting helicopter Fighting fires from above the ground A firefighting helicopter to put those fires out Firefighting helicopter Fighting fires from above the ground A firefighting helicopter On a mission to put those fires out We are at a beautiful park, and look at what we have. Yum! A tasty lunch, like this grape. Mm. Mm. This raspberry. Mm. Mm. A red strawberry. Mm. And we have some vegetables, a sandwich, crackers, but we'll get to this in a little bit. Let's go play first, come on. Wow, this park is so beautiful. Like, these plants, they just look like plants, but they're so beautiful to me. Look, they're so green and alive. And they smell so great. Wow, hey, I'm kinda hungry. Let's go eat some more. Wow. Huh. Whoa! What happened? Where'd it go? Oh no! My lunch is gone! Hey! Officer! Officer! Oh hey there, Blippi. What's going on? Uh, my lunch was just right here. I was eating it and it was so good. And then I went over here and then I looked at some plants and then I came back here and it was all gone. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to investigate this. Lucky for you, I have my crime scene bag with me. Oh. I got a really good idea. Yeah. Do you want to help me, Blippi? I would love to, yeah. Oh, well, I got this special badge just for you. Oh, whoa. Wow, look at that. It even has my name on it. Whoa, I am honored. Whoa, and look at what you rode up on. A police bicycle. Can I look at it? Of course you can, Blippi. Oh, cool. Okay, look at this. A helmet. Wow, this keeps you nice and safe. Okay, and ooh, look up here. Do you see that? It's a light. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and the handlebars, and one big giant wheel and tire, and then a second big giant wheel and tire. And then we have the pedals and the kickstand. Let's put that up right now. Oh, ooh. yeah, and look at this. This is the crime scene investigation bag, he said. <laughs> this is gonna help us find my lunch. But first, let's take it for a ride. So much fun! It 
it is, isn't it, Blippi? Yeah. Well, I think we should get started on the investigation. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. All right, I think the next best thing, send in the canine. Ooh, canine? That's another word for a dog. <coughs> Officer Feechek, send in the canine. Get it. Police dogs have really sensitive noses and police use those to help us track to people and evidence to help us with our investigations. He did it. He found some evidence. Investigator Blippi, this is the evidence that the canine tracks to. Oh, look, this is my glass. This is my glass that had all the water in it. What's it doing all the way over here? Huh, well, there's the glass, what do we do? Well, we're gonna have to collect the evidence using the bag that we talked about earlier. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do is put evidence tape up to secure the scene. Okay, Oh, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, look, it says crime scene. Do not cross. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Go around the bumper. Wee! <laughs> Whoa! Here you go. And we can tie it off. Okay. Let's tie it. There we go. Oh, almost there. Good job, Blippi. Thanks. Okay, it's nice and tied off. Now what? That was a great job, Blippi. Thanks. Now we have to take pictures using a ruler. Okay. Hey, here we go. So we have the ruler. Let's put this down right next to it. Then we have a camera. Let me turn it on. Ooh. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Oh, you are so beautiful, Glass. <laughs> okay, close up. <laughs> okay, turn that off. And here you go. All right, now that we've taken pictures, we actually have to collect the evidence. Okay. But before we do so, we gotta put gloves on because oh. we don't want your fingerprints being oh, on it. Right. Okay, so we have to put these gloves on. And this first glove is the color blue. And the second glove <laughs> is also the color blue. All right, I got the gloves on, now what? Okay, now that the gloves are on, we can actually pick it up and put it into a bag. Okay. Ooh, look, an evidence bag. Okay, here we go. Pick it up, wow. Ooh, okay, let's put it in the bag. All right, so I got it in the bag, now what? That was a great job. Now we have to get it down to the police department okay. to process it. Okay. So how do we get it there? Well, we're gonna have to call in the motorcycle. Okay. Officer Feedcheck, can you send in the motorcycle for transport of evidence? Okay, I guess I'll go meet the motorcycle. He's over there waiting for you, Blippi. Okay. Oh -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Look at what it is! Wow! It's a police motorcycle. And this is what's gonna be used to transport the evidence. Here, come here. Wow, look at it. Okay, first things first. Let's put the evidence in the back of this motorcycle. Okay, now it's safe back here. Ooh, and back here, here's a compartment with a laptop. See, there's a laptop. And a printer too. What is this? Oh look, <laughs> it's a picture for me. Ooh, nice picture. Okay, let's put that down right there. Ooh. Okay, oh, so many cool things to show you. But first, maybe I should hop on. Whoa, whoa, this motorcycle is really big. Way bigger than the average motorcycle. Okay, um, let me show you this. Yeah, kinda wanna show you this first. This is a radar gun. See, this is what's used 
to check the speed of everyone driving on the road. So you should drive the speed limit or lower because that's the limit of safety. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, the lights! Watch this, ready? Oh yeah, red and blue lights. That's to let everyone know that there's an emergency. And what else is also used to let everyone know that there's an emergency is the siren. Here we go. Oh, that's so loud. And then also the horn. Yeah. And then the police officer on the motorcycle took the evidence to the police station. inside the evidence room with our evidence. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, that's the evidence. What do we do? So we're going to process it for prints. Okay, how do we do that? First, you're going to need your lab coat. Ooh, lab coat. Look. Yeah, it's the color blue. Wow, I like the color blue. It's one of my two favorite colors. Blue is one of them, and orange is the other. All right, now I have my lab coat on. Now what? Uh, now you need your gloves. <laughs> Ooh, gloves. Are they? Okay, they're right here, looks like. Ooh, look at these. Blue rubber gloves. So we wear these so then we don't make our own fingerprints on the evidence. All right, so now I have the gloves on. Now what? Now you're going to need to pull this brown paper down. Okay. Whoa, here we go. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> brown paper. Hey. Right. So, now you can come on over to okay. this side. All right. And now, so we have this, we have the paper right here and gloves on. So now what do you need? Now you're going to need some tools. Okay. Let's see. First of all, you're going to need your print dust. Ooh, look at that. Print dust. It's the color black. Whoa. Okay. Next, you're going to need your brush. Brush, look at that brush. Whoa, <laughs> so now what do I do? So take your glass out of the bag. Okay. 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 Now dip okay. your brush into the dust. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. I've got some dust, do you see that? Now what? Now paint your brush on your fingerprint like a fairy dancing on the lake. Ooh, fairy dancing on the lake. I like that. You're funny. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. All right. Whoa, it's showing something. Wow. All right. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. And next, you're going to need your print lifter. Ooh, a print lifter. So, a print lifter looks like a sticker. So, can you hold this for me? Sure. Okay, so now I'm going to unstick this. And this is really sticky. And then I'm going to put it right here. Whoa. There we go. Oh, okay. And then, should I peel it off? Gently peel it off. Okay. Just like that. Oh, oh, we did it. Wow, okay, let's close it up like a book. And look at that. Wow, we just pulled a print off of the glass. Yeah, the evidence glass. Okay, so I'll give you that, and okay. then what do we do with the glass now? So the glass needs to go back into a paper bag. Okay, so I'll go get a paper bag. Okay. And yeah, here we go. Let's see. Perfect. Here's the paper bag. There we go. Okay, now what? Now you need to seal the bag with evidence tape. Okay, evidence tape. Oh. Okay, hey, check this out. Evidence tape. Seal it up. All right, it's nice and sealed. Now what? Don't forget to sign it. Oh, gotta sign it. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. <laughs> Blippy. Good job. All right, let's put the pen back. Now that the evidence is all taped up and secure, we need to put it in the evidence vault. Whoa, here I go! What is 
Lisa. Hello, Flippy. Hey, I have some evidence for you. Oh, hey. We got the results back of those prints. Oh, whoa. Look at this. It's a photo of a raccoon. So a raccoon ate my lunch. Hey, it's me, Flippy, and I was just dancing. Oh, but it's really hot outside. I wish I could take a break. Well, no time for breaks when you're dancing. Oh, do you see that? Oh, it's a popsicle cart and I love popsicles. I think you and I should get a popsicle. Let's go. Hey. Hi, Blippi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Julia. Ooh. Would you like a handmade popsicle? Yeah, I love popsicles. What flavor do you have? This is cha-cha-cha. It's mango, pineapple, and chia seed. Ooh, that sounds so yummy. Mango, pineapple, and chia seeds. <sighs> that is so yummy! <laughs> yeah, glad you like it. Do you want to come see how they're made? Yeah, that would be so much fun. Let's All right, go. Let's go. Welcome to my kitchen. Wow, look at this place. It's so cool. Thanks. Now, first thing, you need to gear up. Oh, <laughs> check it out. This is an apron. Here we go. Wow. Okay, well, what do we have here? So, these are all the ingredients we use to make our popsicles. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of fruit and vegetables. Yep, you got it. We actually use a lot of superfoods in our popsicles. So, wow. you'll see kale and avocado, and spinach, and chia seeds. What's this? This is a coconut. Wow, that's cool. A coconut, cool. Well, what flavor are we making? I thought we could make Popeye. Popeye? Yeah, all right. Guess why I call it Popeye? Um, I don't know, why? I use spinach. Okay. So here you go, hold the spinach. I was making a batch earlier, so I thought we could just add to it. Okay, so here's some spinach, and what do you have? Strawberries. Strawberries. And to sweeten it, we use dates. Ooh, dates, <laughs> all right. Come on back. Oh, okay. So here's the batch I was working on earlier. Oh, look at it. All right. Oh, that looks yummy. <laughs> go ahead, let's add it in. Okay, bye-bye, spinach. <laughs> And then here are some strawberries. Ooh. And dates. Yum. Now, what might be different about your kitchen is we have some big equipment we use here. Really? <laughs> I'm excited. Whoa, look at that. That thing is massive. What does that thing do? This is our immersion blender. Wow. So you put it in. Whoa. You hit the button. Whoa. So that just blends it up into yes. a liquid? It sure does. Wow, that looks so yummy. Well, now what do we do? Now we're gonna put it in our mold. Okay. And I'm gonna get my trusty pitcher. Ooh. Wow. All right. So it's basically three ingredients all blended up to make one. Yummy tasting liquid. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in. Oh. And then you kind of just have to feed it through. Shake it around. Yeah. May I? Of course. Okay. Well, here's some more. Whoa! <laughs> we got some chunky ones in there. <laughs> That's okay. There's some more. Okay. And then next what we need to do is We'll just put in our sticks. Ooh. Yeah, like a popsicle stick. Have you ever eaten a popsicle and you hold on to the piece of wood? Yeah, that's what we just put in there. So it makes them so handy. Okay. And now we put it into our extra special popsicle machine. Whoa, what does so this thing do? It makes it super cold. It freezes a popsicle in 18 minutes. Wow. I'm so excited. I sure do love popsicles. Hey, check it out. Put it in. Whoa, 
So is that just really cold in there? Yes, it's actually made out of a special popsicle freezing liquid. Whoa. All I right. can't tell you all my secrets. Huh. Well, maybe for later. Well, now what do we do? Well, usually when I wait for popsicles to freeze, I like to dance. Okay, let's go! Woohoo! what we have to work with. All right, you know what kind of fruit this is, right? Yeah, this is an apple. Okay, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, what are these? Check these out. Yeah, these are lemons. Lemons are the color yellow. Wow, and then we have some greens over here. Whoa, spinach. Wow. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> it's like hair. Whoa, whoa! This is kale. And kale is really yummy. <laughs> and it doesn't like containers. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's put these back in here so then we can continue to see what type of fruits and vegetables we have. Like this. Whoa! This is so heavy. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Yeah! This is a watermelon, and watermelons are so big and yummy. Do you know what color is on the inside of the watermelon? Yeah! Red! And the outside is green. Okay, just a couple more. Bananas and pineapple! Yum! Okay, so you can see we have this big bucket right here and we need to put a lot of the ingredients right in here. Can't forget about the strawberries. We'll start with those. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that kale. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's put some in there. <laughs> we are doing so good. Oh, apples. Okay, we could put the whole apple in there, but I think we should probably slice it. Have you ever had a slice of an apple? They're so yummy. Okay, here is our red apple slicer. And then put it right in the center, just like that. And then you push down. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Slice the apples, so then you pull them out and then you can put them right in our big bucket. Wow. And you keep the core, whoop. <laughs> you keep the core, which is the center, out of it, because there's a lot of seeds in there. Oh, speaking of seeds, watermelons have seeds. <laughs> okay, let's cut open the watermelon. Whoa. I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown up with this knife. Ready? Okay, here we go. 
chop it in half, just like that. Flip it around. Wow, look at that. That looks so yummy. Our popsicles are gonna be so yummy. Okay, um, I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, we have some bananas. Open those up. Here we go. Bye bye, banana. Woohoo! <laughs> and we'll do another banana. Yum! Here we go! <laughs> Yum! Look at it. Is that looking tasty or does that look tasty? <laughs> Whoa! And remember, we learned what fruit this is. Yeah, the coconut. All right. These are a little tricky to open, but it's worth the trouble. So let's take the coconut opener. Whoa, we did it! Look at that! Whoa! Whoa! Look at all that liquid! I just want to drink it all up. Okay, we'll put that in the bucket for the popsicles. Whoa! Oh, yum! Okay, use this little coconut device and pull out some of the coconut meat. Yeah, right in there. Ooh, yummy! There we go. All right. Perfect. Let's bring it right over here. Yum. All right. Oh, spinach right here. Woohoo! And then we have a bunch of grapes. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grapes. All right, and then remember these, we used these earlier. These are dates. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, can't forget about the lemons. We have so many types of fruits and vegetables in here. Here we go. Wow. Okay, let's take these and give a little squeeze. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, have you ever tasted a lemon before? Okay, let's try some. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's sour. Okay, let's wash our hands. And then last but not least, we have a pineapple. We cut the pineapple just like that. And you see that yellow? That looks so yummy. So now we take this pineapple tool, put it right on top, and then give it a little twist. Wow, look at that. And then you pull it out. Whoa, check that out. And then take it off just like this. And that's gonna give it some nice sweetness to these yummy popsicles. All right, I think that's plenty. Look at, whoa, that's so heavy. Come on back here. Remember that next step that we do? Yeah, she taught us that you put the bucket, whoa, right here. You take the big blender, whoa, whoa. And we blend it up. Here we go. Whoa! All right, now it's all mixed up. Wait a second though. We need the magic tool. This is a giant whisk. Woohoo! Check this out. Okay, let's 
put this right over here, and then we can bring this up and grab this pitcher. Remember from earlier, we need to scoop some out. Oh, oh I am so excited. Pour some in. Let's grab another scoop. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa! All right, I think that's plenty. So let's give it a shake. Okay, yes, these are gonna be so yummy. And let's take these sticks. Wow, that's a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Put them right in there. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we need to bring it to the cooling station. Here we go. Set it down. Woo, we did it. All right, now remember what we had to do earlier? It's gonna take a long time. So we get a dance while we wait. Must be ready. Let's check them out. Woohoo! All right. Whoa, I am so excited. Okay, hey, we yeah. gotta drain them. I can't wait to see the ingredients you use. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, nice and come. loose. <gasps> Whoa! Look at them! Whoa! My two favorite colors! Yeah! Check them out. Blue and orange. Shall we try them? Yeah. Mmm. Do you like them? These are delicious, Flippy. You know what? You need to take those outside and go sell some pops. Mm, awesome. All right. Let's go try some. Sell some popsicles. <laughs> popsicles, popsicles. Who wants a popsicle? <laughs> I love popsicles, and that was so much fun learning about how to make popsicles with you at Mom and Pop Shop in Costa Mesa, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, see you later. And I was just playing with this dinosaur toy. <laughs> oh, I sure do love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, they are so cool. Yeah, and it's so cool how all of them look so different from each other. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, dinosaurs used to roam our planet. You know how we know that? Yeah, because people have found fossils. Yeah, fossils of dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? Yeah, fossils are remains from plants and, and animals and dinosaurs from such a long time ago. <laughs> well, I love dinosaurs. You and I are gonna learn about dinosaurs and maybe we'll find some fossils in this video. <laughs> Oh, check it out. Yeah, I have a pail full of sand. Yeah, I found all this sand outside. I think we should use some of our tools to see what's inside the sand and maybe we'll find a fossil. Yeah, okay, the tools that we have here are a magnifying glass. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay, that'll help us look at things nice and up close. Ooh, nice little pick. Yeah, yeah, a pick and a miniature shovel. So then we can shovel up some of the sand. Ooh, and then check this out. Whoa, it's a brush. <laughs> yep, so then we can be nice and delicate. We definitely don't want to break up the fossils. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, a bunch of sand. So I think we should take our shovel, our little pick, and then do some picking, okay. Yeah, we need to break it up. Perfect. Yep, 
now that we're getting it nice and loose, oh, yeah, I think I might see something. Oh, do you see that? Oh, yeah, I think we found a fossil. Yeah, it's the color gray. Huh, interesting. Whoa, look, yeah. Archaeologists love to do this. Yeah, they're the ones that uncover a lot of fossils. <laughs> Maybe you'll be an archaeologist someday. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, we found all these fossils. And then look right here. Yeah, here's one more. Wow. Need to brush it off. Whoa! Check it out. Yeah. It looks like some teeth, maybe the lower jaw. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, let me empty this. Have to stay nice and clean and organized. Okay, now let's inspect some of these fossils. Whoa, this one is so cool. This one might even be an insect fossil or something. I don't know. Maybe it's some form of type of dinosaur. I don't know. <laughs> this could be any part of the dinosaur, but I don't even know. <laughs> but I know what this is. Yeah. Whoa. This for sure is a fossil. That looks like a rib cage. Do you see it? Yeah. That's a rib cage to a really small dinosaur. Yeah. That's the rib cage. Then the whole dinosaur must have only been about this big. Whoa! Hello! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Whoa. Huh, interesting. This one kind of looks like a rock. <laughs> Who knows? Whoa! Look at this. This looks like an underwater type of dinosaur. Yeah. It's so smooth and shiny. Huh, kind of looks like a, a shell of some sort. I don't know. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun digging for fossils. Yeah. Whoa, maybe next time you go outside and you find some dirt, yeah, and you have the correct tools, maybe you can dig and maybe you'll find a fossil. <laughs> Whoa, pretty cool. Whoa, I sure do love digging and brushing for fossils. Whoa, yeah, I love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, they are so cool. Whoa, check out all these dinosaurs. Whoa, hey, check it out. Do you know what dinosaur this is? Yeah, this looks like a T-Rex. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Whoa, what a scary dinosaur. Yeah, this dinosaur eats meat. Yeah, other dinosaurs. Yeah, that is actually called a carnivore. Yeah, if you are a carnivore, you eat meat. Yeah, and a T-Rex is definitely a carnivore because it has really sharp, big teeth. <laughs> Whoa. Check this one out. This is a brontosaurus. Whoa! What a cute dinosaur. Whoa! Look at its long neck. Whoa! Its long neck is really good to reach the top of the tree canopies. Um, um, and eat a lot of leaves. Yeah, the brontosaurus is an herbivore. Yeah, if you're a dinosaur and you only eat plants, then you would be an herbivore. Yeah, like a brontosaurus. T-Rex, carnivore, brontosaurus, herbivore. Whoa! Well, hey, I think we should listen to the dinosaur song. Yeah! A long time ago on this planet Earth, before we ever Another kind of creature ruled the land And 
song awesome yeah i love dinosaurs and i love dancing did that song just make you want to dance hey i have an idea why don't you and i pick a dinosaur and let's dance like it Woohoo! okay what dinosaur hmm oh yeah how about a t-rex <laughs> yeah Okay, I'll teach you how to dance like a T-Rex. First, you have to put your hands out right here, and they don't have very long arms. So, you just act like you have some claws. Woo! <laughs> and then, you give it a big roar. <laughs> okay, hit that music! Dinosaur. much fun dancing like a dinosaur with you and learning about dinosaurs with you in this video but this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me b-l-i p-p-i blippi good job <laughs> all right see you again Bye bye <laughs>